Hello there everyone, Alex Man here and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time, well, we took care of our only story beat of the mission was Relentless of the Waterfall, which took very long <laughs> on that front. Our next story beat is this one down here, which is the Fort Hauteno, with the, with the ability of the name though, each step like thunder. But before we get to that though, we have some missions to take care of first, because um, we like to make sure to get as much of the uh, world cleared up as we can. So, with that said, let's come clear up some of the missions that we have the green lights around, because that actually has stuff for us for quests for this guy right here. This basically gets Teba's special attacks gauge up, which has got, like, you know, a lot of stuff, really, which is the Marbin Trophy, which we don't have. We need to kill more Marbins for that. But we need to grab the, that meat. That gourmet meat, that's what Teva needs. And he's hungry. So, let's see if I will clear out some of these missions for us right now. With this one. Ooh, winged assault. Winged escort. We're going to have to get Teva up a couple more levels. That's fine. We can do that here. Let's get to our military training camp and get him up a little bit up. I think we have enough money for this. Just enough. <laughs> I did level up some characters beforehand and clearing up some additional uh, levels and everything. So, nothing that would be completely a stage. So, we just need to get some missions cleared. And so, Teva, it's time for you to get back into the action with a winged escort mission. And we have to deal with a blue Lionel with him. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Let's see if we can do this. Cooking effect. Uh, let's see, what can we get uh, him for? Um... Material drape bra would be not bad. But since there's a lot of ice enemies, we do less... No, not, not that one. No, 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 no. Teva, we need you to... Less power from ice. That's what we want. Less damage from ice. And we'll get you some... Um, I think additional... And then less damage from enemies overall. I think that's going to be better off for us. Let's do it. All right, Teva, let's see about taking care of you. But first, can we have enough money for that? I don't think we do. No, we don't. All right, we're going to have to deal with three hearts on this one. Three uh, apples this time around. Hopefully, guys, I was through it. Let's go. Let's go, Teva. Escort that man, whatever is over there. Let's go. All right, Teva, let's ex escort that person. Yeah. They have to escort a highly into the very end of the map, but we have to deal with all kinds of moblins. He needs to get back into the action here. So this is definitely what's happening, you know, between missions, you know. Like since, you know, Rivali was not with the uh, Alcatel Citadel mission. This is what's happening. You know, uh, <laughs> they're over here in the in the Herba region taking care of stuff while the Calamity's in effect. Again, I feel like this is how this level is supposed to be, technically, you know. Because this, this mission, you have to have Teba in your part. You have to have Teba to do this with. So, oddly enough, it's like, it's getting, it's kind of a... It's not a time warp mission, though the fact of the matter is that escorting missions are kind of annoying for some reasons. Because you can't let the guy die. Not one bit. Bomb and run! Go, Teba! Still, I kind of feel like, again, after I've, I've beaten, high, I've beaten uh, Tears of the Kingdom at this point, and what can I really say about that game? Not really much in the, in the grand scheme of things, but I'm going to say now... Most of the story is basically the same as it was in Breath of the Wild, to a certain degree. Like, it's not much more than what Breath of the Wild did. And you might say, well, that's that's different, you know? Do you do you hate Tears of the Kingdom, Alex Man? No, no, I don't. I'm just thinking there could have been something more to the new to the new current story. Like the story in itself is probably more engaging than the uh than shall we say Breath of the Wild by a certain degree, but but my honest opinion though is that some of the story beats of Tears of the Kingdom doesn't really kind of doesn't really match well for us. Do I have actually fire charge? I do have a fire charge if I need to. Come on, Teva. Oh yeah, woo! Dodge that rock. Hit that rock hard. Now the towers, the towers are kind of like really okay. To be fair. Palaces are actually kind of really easy to kill in, in Tears of the Kingdom. 
because of the fact you can ascend through them and get to the top without actually having to climb up on them, which is again kind of nice feature. I'm not gonna lie, but still, it's like so these talismans are, are actually kind of worth of fighting in Tears of the Kingdom for the most part, just because they have you know they drop a, a heart that you know you can fuse your weapons to, which is fine, really, because. In uh, Breath of the Wild, you only fought these things for jewels, and then you sold them off, and... Oddly enough, though, run money is now kind of hard to come by, thanks to, uh, the, when the patch hit. Uh, that stopped duplicating items and whatnot. Because I know there's some people that were duping, like, uh, diamonds and whatnot and everything to make sure they could have all the money in the world. But now we don't have that anymore, and... Well, there are some people who have found more, uh, exploits to, you know, duplicate items and everything. I kind of feel bad the idea that people had to result to duping, duping items just so they can have, you know, more fun with it. Because again, that's why I would, but the... Okay, to be fair, the one thing I don't really kind of feel like it's kind of annoying is the Zonite. Because you really can't buy the stuff. Like, you have to... You have to actually find it out in the depths. It means you're forced to fight with, with you know... Against creatures that are gonna give you gloom damage or anything if you mess up, you know, or go after bosses that have it, you know, it just just feels kind of tedious. And I wish there was, you know, a way to actually, you know, just buy Zona from, from, you know, those uh, constructs, you know, like you see constructs everywhere, and it's like, oh yeah, no, we're we're processing this stuff. And like, yeah, I wish you could process this stuff, or at least I could just buy it from you. You have a pile of it right, right there. But still, it's like I just get. Because I mean, there are ways to actually find a lot of good, you know, places to find Zona. If you're actually really keen on it and have it searched out, then you should have no problem finding the stuff. But at some point, it's just like, you know, I just want to just have enough to, you know, build my stuff. Which means you're basically using your charges to grab all the materials, put all the materials down, use your auto build to build your contraptions. And, and you see these magnificent builds on Tears of the Kingdom that people show off, and it's, it's like... Yeah, this is a cool device. How many zonites does it take? Oh, it takes about like 500 zonites. I'm like, holy crap, man. You know, it's like... Come on, hit the bomb. Oh, it didn't hit him in time. Okay, that's fine. Take care of this ice wizard. We don't have any more fire charges left. I'll have to get some more charges somewhere else. But, it's like, the cost of zonite for a particular builds, like, I think the cheapest thing you can get to travel around the world faster is like nine. Like, nine Zonite just to make a, a simple flying machine. But the things I've seen cost, like, five to seven hundred Zonite. And, like, holy crap, who has got that time to, uh, make to get that much of that stuff, you know? Like, wh like why? It kind of... Because it really just kind of... It comes it really it comes at a weird cost for what... What do you want to do with the Zonite you collect, you know? It's like... You really want it for the battery charges, you know, but, like, everyone just uses it like it's candy, and, like, well, it is kind of, kind of everywhere. Once you, you know, know how to farm and everything, but still. It just gets me to the point where it's like, I just want, you know, just to build this contraption. And, granted, there's a lot of parts, there's a lot of, like, you know, gotcha machines that grab all the stuff you need. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, that should have frozen. Oh, I froze, I froze the guy instead of trying to do the... Come on, freeze! There we go. Ooh, ya! Yeah. Come on, hit him hard. Oh boy! Come on now, we gotta take this moblin down. And the camera does not work with this. Not what? Not one bit. I'm a little kind of worried about the mo about the monster I have to fight here. The the mob with the uh, the cursed Lionel. I'm not. I'm not a little bit worried about that one. Come on! Man, this guy's taking a lot of time to kill. Oh boy! Come on, hit him hard! Oh boy. I'm not very good with Teva. I'll tell you, I'll say that much though. He is fast superior in Rivali by all means. Like I said before. But still. Like I just... I'm just so used to Link. Like Link is just the jack of all trades of basically anything. So you just get this whole concept of, yeah! <laughs> Link just basically destroys everything, just wrecks everything. Yeah, freeze you. Yeah, you ain't gonna live me. These mobs are kicking our butt so hard. Not my watch. <laughs> Teba's just basically ripping these guys to shreds, just flying around. Come on, like they're in the weak, the weak smash. Take them down, Teba. Touchdown. 
There we go, and that guy's down too. Sweet! Cool. Alright, Captain. Oh, Volley! You're actually here! You're actually helping out! Goodness me. Okay, I guess I can help you, I guess. I have to- I have a pride to appease, you know? It's like, goodness. Volley. <laughs> like, we just saved your skin, and yet you're still the- the- the most annoying person to, f to be next to, I swear. <laughs> Alright, we need to get to the feet this Lionel, which will be right here. So, prepare yourself. We do have uh, lightning shards and ice shards, so we should be okay. Come on, Hylian! Ice Lionel! Oh yeah, it is an ice Lionel, isn't it? Bombs away! Gotta use our good abilities on this one. Goodness me, this guy's gonna take down. What? Is a Lionel here? Yeah, Volley, have you not seen it? Did you not see the mission preview? Oh yeah, that's right, you were on the main menu. You were on here trying to do something. Oh, goodness! Again, I'd rather fight Link with this thing. Oh, boy. I've got another apple, that's a nice feature. <laughs> the camera does not know where we're going! How about shock to the system? I need to keep you in shock states for a while. Swing around, oh boy! Yeah, and also, uh, Peppa's a, a combo is not the best right now at the moment. Let's see, if we get enough of that, uh, we get them some of those, uh, gourmet food and everything and Moblin trophies, oh yeah, we'll have a second ability for him, a second special ability, so he'll be a lot more useful. Come on, yeah, there we go! Touchdown! Booyah! Well, at least, you know, as long as the, uh, Hylian Captain does not die, we're fine! Oh, I messed up the timing. Ow, and I just landed right on his ice blast. Oh, I should have I, I should have shielded. Why did not shield? <laughs> I was about to. I was like, I was trying to like, I was, I'll, I'll do flurry rush, you know. And it's like, oh, <laughs> and I kind of messed up the timing on that one just a little bit, folks. Oh boy. Come on now. Oh, uh, bombs, bombs, boys, come on, bombs. Yeah, bombs away. At least Tab is actually pretty, you know, is like directly in your face with those with the bomb ability. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna just launch a bomb arrow at you. <laughs> we gotta dodge away, guys. Dodge away from the guy. Oh man, stop him! There you go. That works. See, that's what you need to do Stasis for. Stasis is such an amazing ability in this game, just so you can get those weak point gauges down a lot faster than normal. And again, it's just so nice and awesome. <laughs> Curse you, Ice Lionel! Oh, I'm out of charges! No! Oh boy. I am not losing to a Ice Lionel! Oh boy! Woo! Freeze! Yeah, you're keeping your you're keeping your Come on, Rivali! Help us out here! Come on! You're supposed to be the you're supposed to be the Rito champion, you're doing Jack Squat! And you just stand in there! Use your bows or something, man. Come on, Revolve. Why did you have to be the Watcher? I'm looking at my future. If you die, I may not exist, all right? <laughs> you know, I don't want you to die. Oh, boy. This is technically... And all this is basically with... With 50% less ice damage. <laughs> with against these guys, too. I'm out of apples, too, so I gotta be careful here. Come on, Freeze. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, the way. Come on, hit him hard. I'll just hit him hard. There we go. Now we we'll end his life. And end him. Booyah. And that does it for the Ice Lionel. Woo. Rivoli, you did do nothing. You did nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Revali, for protecting us. Like, Revali did jack squat. <laughs> it was Teba. It was all the Teba. Ooh, 64 kills. Nice. We got some, we got some nice falcon bows and swallow bows. I think that's actually his second tier weapon is the swallow bow, I think. No, no. The falcon bow is his second tier weapon. Sweet. And we got another... Ooh, we got a, um, a royal guard with a sensor resin material drop by 15%. Nice. And we got four Moblin trophies, that's not all we- that's something we also need, too. Well, Tabba, I think you handled that mission quite well. 
All right. Vicious person has fled. Yeah, the vicious monsters are actually pretty, uh, pretty deadly right now, because they're left about level sixty and level sixties now. Let's see. Oh, well, that's level twenty-seven. That's the breach of demise one. That's not too bad. Um, we don't have any fire charges. This up here is anti-ice training, which is takes us on another guy. We don't want to take any more ice enemies right now at the moment. What's this one? The so-called knight. Oh, it looks like uh, Rivali is calling Link out, despite... It's like, Rivali, this is a... <laughs> this is a, a time registered event, and you're going... Oh, fine. <laughs> if you want to take it that way, so-called... You want to take on the so-called knight, Rivali, then so be it. Link, <laughs> I know that the, we're in the middle of a, a dire situation, but... Need to... Oh, I can't buy... I can buy a few apples, at least. There we go. Fine, I'll take on I'll take on the Rito and the Zora champions. Why not? For more harmless training, I assume. True. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's uh, let's take uh, Rivoli down a peg and teach him uh, teach him sense for a moment here. Because this is happening after the calamities hit. Yeah, these guys are just all. I guess the you know Astor and the rest of his. And the Calamity are just going to be like, yeah, we'll let them harm themselves for a while. Then we'll tackle them later, you know. Technically, the Zoro weapons technically should do more damage while in the rain. So technically, yeah, this is technically a, 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 sort, of a sort of a better way for the Zoro to train up, I guess, and take on the Knight himself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And again, this is, again, the, the timing of these missions are kind of odd to me. Like, they just appear out of nowhere, and they're like... Oh, we're not treating like the calamities here. Like this sort of this feels like sort of like a kind of feels like it. Hey, you know this is going to be a time warp mission, but it's not a time warp mission because Sidon's in this mission. And you have to fight, and it's like okay, whatever, you know. Oh, you have that? Oh, you have this? Well, I have ice for you. <laughs> Take on the ice of the captain. Zoo! And we're messing with the Master Sword, which means you're gonna die. Mifa, you're here! Now you got to face against... <laughs> Mifa, this is the, this is a relationship t test. <laughs> Mifa is not... Again, Mifa is a, a strong fighter. Don't count her down. Her water attacks can basically rip you a new one if you're not, uh, if you're not, if you're not fast enough. And Link's gonna take her on. And that took her health down just a little bit. But see, Link has his, his ultimate, like, his closest quick combo can get him enough damage in and basically while they're still stunned. Which basically is why Link is usually the most played character in Hyrule Warriors. You're saying he's not he's ever Link, I have no shame in losing. Okay, you have no shame in losing, but at least you're not dying. That's, uh, that's all that matters. There we go. Again, use, uh, use the Cryonis to actually freeze enemies in place if you don't have any ice charges. Very successful indeed. All right. What's going on around here? There's another outpost over here. We'll probably have to take on soon. And we're getting a lot of hardy salmons. We have to capture more. The Ritu are now captured these things. Oh, we're going after Rivali now, aren't we? There we go. Fine. You want to take on me, Rivali? And so be it. I'll take on these captains for you. <laughs> or maybe this is just the way to basically to get unite the people within one with under one arms. Yeah, you know, we're all we're all this we're all this together, you know, and everything. <laughs> We'd love to have some apples. That'd be nice to have right now, extra apples to. And you know, even after playing Tears of the Kingdom, I'm actually just scared of trees <laughs> because, because there's these enemies that pop up from time to time that mimic the the look of a tree, and you get near it, and you're like, man, this tree's gonna kill me, you know? And it's like that's not fair. <laughs> And it's like, it's the, it's, you know, the gloom that makes the trees move, and I'm like, that's kind of scary. You cut a tree down, and you try to cut a tree, and another tree comes alive and hits you. It's like, goodness me! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and you're also being shocked by electricity, because you're in the rain! Bring it on, Link! Oh, yeah, alright, Tubby, you had a, you had a beef, you had a beef with the future Link in the future. Alright, fair enough. I'll take you on. First, take down your captain. And now I'll take on you, Teba. <laughs> have a power. Have, have a sword to the face. 
and then you're stunned. It thinks your 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 weak gauge goes down faster when I hit you in the head because that's actually critical hits. Oh boy, he's using his ultimate ability. Ooh, you missed. I'm swift as lightning. I'm swift as the wind, and I can do flurry rush on you, and you're down. <laughs> Harmless training, all right? It's harmless training yet again. The outposts have been captured. Ooh, we get some raw bird thighs. Nice. Man, we're getting a lot of drops out of these missions. Ah, so it's now up to the main champions. Revali and Sidon, I think, are still available. I knew I could do it, Link. Now let's settle this. You sure about that? First, take down Revali down a peg. <laughs> like, have... This is a long time coming. Look at that, Revali. I took your half of health all the way down to half on that one shot alone. You have no chance. Then it's duel, my friend. I realized this chance. Oh, boy, huh? Oh, boy. But freeze, Revali. Man, this guy's feel like this is just harmless. Harmless training. Harmless... Harmless of beef. <laughs> I guess. And Rivali is gone. <laughs> You're not going to be overlooked, are you? Next time things will go differently. But yeah, I mean, like, Saiyan's almost halfway dead already. <laughs> it's like, Link is the chosen hero. You don't mess with the hero. Even in a friendly duel, Link's going to go out all out on him. And there you go. <laughs> we'll call it a day, but next time you have no hope of victory. You keep telling yourself that, Rivali. Just remember, I saved your skin. You know, just remember that. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> the so-called knight. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Moneyed up the wazoo, and we get some good stuff out of that. Ooh, weapons. We have ancient spears now. That's good. Eh, I'll save with the master sword. Much better weapon right now. <laughs> oh, we have to sell weapons. <laughs> sell excess weapons now. All right, all right. I'll sell off these uh, extra spears. I don't need. There's a fork. Well, we have a Lionel Mason, the two-handed weapon now. <laughs> and Rebosa gets another scimitar. Moonlight scimitar. Nice. And we get some more cooked gourmet meat. Nice. And we got the rubber armor to boot. That's a nice attire, I don't think. 